In this Microsoft List video, I'm going to show you how to incorporate a barcode scanner into your form. We'll be doing this with Power Apps coming up. Hey everyone, it's Joe from FC Tech, a great place to find tech news, reviews, and tutorials. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button. And all the links we referenced in this video can be found in the video's description. And with that said, let's jump into it. All right, so we're going to start out by using a Power App that I created in a previous video based on a Microsoft list. Uh, just a moment while I pull that up. Okay, uh, here we are. This probably looks familiar. As I said before, this is a Power App that, it, that we created from a Microsoft list previously. Um, I'll add a link up above if you'd like to view that before you start this. Um, but to get started, now that I have this open, what, what, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to click on the edit screen here. And before I get too far into this, I do want to give you a little bit of a disclaimer. Uh, just so you're aware, at least natively at the time of, of this, this video, uh, the, the actual thumbnail column that's actually in the Microsoft list for the inventory, um, inventory templates uh, for some reason, it does not actually automatically create that um, field within Power Apps. Um, I am not personally aware of a way to do this. If you have, have a way to do this, please let me know in the description. I'd be happy to make another video about that just to show people how to fix it, and I will give you credit. So um, feel free to, to leave a comment below if you are, are aware of how to, how to do that. So, uh, But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to work on adding the the um, barcode scanner functionality to the edit screen for the app that it, we created previously. Uh, so first I'll start off by clicking in the, the form area here. Actually just select it. I'm gonna drag this up so it gives us a little bit of space so we can actually add the button below. All right, from here I'll go to insert, then media. And there's the barcode scanner here. Okay, I'm just gonna add that right to the center here. You can rename this if you want. I'm just going to leave it default. And what I'm going to do is instead of I'm actually going to have this just insert this uh, the barcode scan data into the title section here. So. You could add a new column if you want and then make sure it's included here um, but it's easier because uh, easier to work with an existing field for this for the sake of this video uh, this is mostly conceptual so all right so to get started i'm actually going to start with the on scan parameter for the scan button I'll click on the drop down here and I will go to on scan. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually set a variable. So I'll do set. I'll name a variable. So I'll do var scan. And then I'm going to, I'm going to actually use barcode scanner dot one dot value. So that whenever you click the scan, it actually captures the value and it puts it in this variable automatically. And we'll be referencing that uh, further in the video. So, All right, next I'm actually going to set the this screen, the edit screen, to automatically purge the data in that variable uh, when, when it loads. So I'll do a set our scan and I'll just set this, the value to nothing that way every time it loads it'll purge the va the variable or the value of the variable that is so that is all set all right next I'm going to be setting the default very uh, the default parameter for the title text box which is where we actually want uh, this uh, barcode scan data to go so I'll click here, as you, as you can see here, it's set to parent.default here. Um, and what we're going to want, want to do 
is we need to actually unlock this. So I'm going to go over to advanced here, click unlock. Now I can actually change the, the values here. Expand this down a little bit. I'm actually going to paste some code that I had previously typed here and I'll explain it. So this is just a very simple if statement and it states that if var, var scan equals zero or nothing, I should say, then it's going to set the value to parent.default. Um, otherwise, I want to set the value to var scan. So this is just a very simple way to put the, the scan value in, the, in this box uh, if there's something available. And if not, then it'll either keep it blank or it'll use the default value, which in some cases, especially if you're working with editing a field that already has data, it'll just leave it the default, whatever it was originally set to. It'll go, it'll, it'll go with that. So um, that is pretty, pretty much it for that. All right, from here, I'm going to actually save and publish this app so I can test it. So I'll do that by going to File, Save. And I will have to republish this again. Publish. All right, and please note this, this app is called IT Asset Manager. Okay, and if you give me just a minute, I will connect my phone to my computer and I can demo how the app works. All right, as you can see here, I have my app open on my phone. I'm going to go ahead and launch the IT Asset Manager app. Uh, keep in mind that if prompted, you may need to allow access to your phone's camera. Um, if, like I said, if, if you see that, just tap allow and it, it should allow you to access it via the app. So I'll click on IT Asset and tap on IT Asset Manager. And I'm going to go ahead and tap the plus to add a new item. Okay, there we go. I'll tap scan. Okay. Here we are, and I actually have some spices that I'm going to be testing the scans with. So I'll go ahead and scan that. All right. Once we're done there, we'll go ahead and tap the check mark to accept it. And as you can see, it added that to the gallery. I'm going to go ahead and add one more just for testing purposes. Okay. I have one more spice, one more uh, spice here. Tap scan. There it goes. And as you can see, I can see both spices here, um, and I can tap on either of them. Go into edit, and as you can see, it, it kept the title as it as it's supposed to be, the barcode number. same for the other one when I go to edit so so it works great that's pretty much it if you found this video helpful please like subscribe and share as always thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon bye bye